Hi Gemini, welcome to your mid month readings. As always, keep in mind that this is just a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences at this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. So, Gemini, overall in this mid month of August, I feel that there's something here upon um, wanting to make justice, wanting to go out and prove yourself right or prove someone wrong. There's an energy of um, conflict between behaviors that you may come to the realization are not right or that you have been uh immerse emerge in um in a world of illusion in a world where the the element of lies and the element of truth are quite um difficult to define and quite difficult to discern there's something here about a moral a moral conduct a moral a moral pattern, something about morality, something about righteousness, something about what is right to do versus what it's wrong to do. I feel that you are, you are, or you have been um, swirling around uh, life too much, which means some of you have been giving away your power too much to please others, to do things for others, to conciliate with others, to give yourself to others. And in that process, there's a chance that there could have been, or you may become aware that some people were just, uh, or some situations were not right, and some people may have been Taking advantage of you, lying to you, not being honest, uh, gossiping about you, not just the behavior that is aligned with uh, integrity. And so, because you were swir swirling, uh, swirling, spiraling uh, around life from a to B to Z, all around, I feel that there was never this grasp of control that you were holding on yourself to. This is for a specific group, of course, not this is a general reading, it's not for all of you. I feel that others of you are getting yourselves empowered in the, in the new change of life that you are fiercely committed to, to begin uh, to begin new journey to transform to end cycles that were uh, that were still haunting you or still conditioning you with uh, dark elements uh, dark past history and you're making the brave decisions to just move on and try to um, empower yourself from those losses but the main focus that I feel for Gemini's in in this mid month is having some illusions shattered, having some truths coming to the surface, and they may be hard uh, pills to swallow because you may avoid or you may dismiss the responsibility that you as well carry in whichever the situation uh, is or was that abrupt, abruptly ended or that you will uh, be ending or that you will be separating yourself from that will cause you some grief so I do not think this is something shallow I do not think this is about anything where you were not powerfully attached and involved with. I think this is a situation that really, 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 really you were deeply involved with and death comes in to really allow a new life, a new realization, a new empowerment to come to the surface. 
So when we give away our power, we become power powerless and we become uh, pu puppets of life. We are not being co-creators, we are not manifestors, we are not taking control of what we can to control, which is our own selves. So then circumstances happen that seem completely fatal, completely uh, out of your grasp of ability to do anything at all, and you are right, but they are happening for you so you can understand the importance of owning your power, of not giving away uh, your power that easily for others, and for circumstances itself where you may have lacked voice, or you may have um, engaged in behaviors that you knew was not right. Whichever it is, you are having here a tough decision to make between what's right and what is wrong, separating waters, and this may be hard because it may be testing your beliefs. It may be testing, you, again, your sense of what is really right and what is really wrong. Uh, I feel that those concepts are being tested for you to open a more fluid channel of perception around those beliefs you carry and if those come from a real authentic place or a conditioning you received somewhere somehow upon um, again what is right what is wrong and the fact that you have no power or control over yourself as well I also feel that you have been going around and around and around and around uh, either with a specific relationship or a specific issue that you are more than consciously aware that you should be dealing with and instead of being, being um, able to deal with it or do something more concrete, a more open, uh, honest conversation uh, with yourself about it and with the others involved, I think you keep yourself in that avoidance, in that runner energy. And then, boom, something happens and it seems quite catastrophic. Because you may be up, uh, upon a, um, a separation that might happen. A separation from a significant relationship or the end of a phase. Um, that was very important for you, career-wise, friendship-wise, uh, spiritually even. It's just an end of a phase, and that end can be hard on you because you may uh, have to confront those feelings that you were trying to avoid. You also, uh, for those of you who are dealing with deceit and lies and dishonesty, you may be in the danger of wanting to turn yourself into someone you are not. So the problem with these situations is the extremes. So in the first hand, you have no power at all. You are a puppet of others in life and you end up realizing that and feeling angered by it. How I did all of this for them, how could they do that for me? And so you may go through that phase, through the anger phase, where you want vengeance, you want to prove yourself right, you want to show them who you are and who they messed around and played with. Be careful with this, because it's not as well the way to go about it. Some types of justice is around what goes around comes around so there's things that naturally that you give away you will receive back so you cannot fight fire with fire you cannot uh, you cannot do things they are not a part of who you are and then expect the results to be at your favor so it's very important with the justice in the challenge for you to be aware of the things you are saying, the actions you are taking, the decisions you are making at this time, because they may be dangerously uh, close 
to wanting to be uh, this figure of that in reality is the wound that you are carrying upon that trust that was broken and that wound may be so strong that in this beginning stages of grief you may want to do things that are not who you are also for those of you who are not dealing with this at all i feel that you may be avoiding uh making decisions to implement a level of change that is necessary for your health for your sense of um, positivity to be possible in your life so you may be avoiding running away from um, things you need to do decisions you need to make conversations you need to have there are the right thing to do in terms of alignment of who you are and the person you are as well asked to become you may fall into patterns of avoidance escapism um, not wanting to deal with anything uh, getting yourself involved in battles um, of egos with others throwing rocks at, at, at each other and having fun while doing that as a child so death energy is not one to play with and what I mean by this is the death energy is one that is it carries a heavy uh, sense to it it's a very scorpionic uh, energy and so we have to pay attention to how we are we are using our power either too much or too little both are dangerous and you cannot want to go from one extreme to the other as entitled as you may feel to that you need to understand the laws the divine laws that exist in life and once you do you get into the concept of balance and the concept as well that everything that happens to you everything that people do to you is somehow a reflection of something you are doing to yourself and if there's someone that can understand this is a Gemini so breathe in breathe out allow the end allow whichever is ending at this time to end do not avoid the process do not deny the process sit with the, the feelings you are having and I know sitting with the feelings of death is hard but it's necessary for the new life to come and after the new life to come again the sense of empowerment that you will receive for it the real empowerment will be one of the most rewarding experiences you will have I also feel there's something you, you should be writing something you should be uh, putting down in papers this could also be talking about the legal situation where you feel things are not going at your favor where you feel you are being um, used or manipulated or the justice is not serving you at, at a certain level but then I also feel there's something more of um something you should be writing some thoughts you should be channeling that could help you undergo this process of change as well so Gemini I hope you have a great mid month thank you so much for all of you who have been liking subscribing and sharing I really 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 appreciate it thank you so much and hopefully we'll see each other soon